Welcome to Ditch Outdoor Ministry. That's a four or five right there. Today we're talking about how to present Jesus in a positive way. Monstrous. Look at the size of this thing, man. Huge! So kick back and enjoy the video. Well, we're going to be going out fishing today, but you know, usually in the summer when it gets nice, I do my little workout first thing in the morning, and then I come out and I sling a couple arrows down range here, and then I go fishing. So the fishing has been horrendous lately. It's just been tough, you know, and it's been confusing to me because uh, the conditions and stuff seem to be perfect. Well, I was talking with a guy at work uh, who's an avid fisherman and he was talking about the barometric pressure and how the pressure has been throwing things off to where he goes out one day and just smashes them and then can't catch anything the next day. So I, maybe that's what's been happening to me. I don't really follow any of that. But uh, hey, that sounds like a great excuse to me. Anyways, this is my first day slinging arrows. So let's see what comes out of this. We're at uh, 30 yards. Beautiful day. We're up around 75 degrees today, and uh, waters. The water temperature is coming up. You know, but uh, man, fish haven't been biting for a while. You know, and I, uh, I thought it might be good today. There's like nobody out. <laughs> it's, ho uh, it's it's. Uh, I'm not in a good time of the day, but uh, it's been tough. It's been real tough. 
a nice three pounder. Oh yeah. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. That's a good one. That's awesome. You know, we need to present Jesus in a positive way. The way that we live, if, if, if you claim to be a Christian, everywhere you go, everything you do. You know, uh, when we don't present Jesus in a positive way, um, it has a very long lasting negative effect. You know, I know uh, at least 20 years ago, I talked to somebody, I was fired right up for the Lord. I went over to see this person and we were kind of just hanging out and all of a sudden I told him that he had to have Jesus and he was gonna go to hell. Well, uh, unbeknownst to me that someone else had just done the same thing about a week ago. And so this person, first of all, he thought we were gonna be just hanging out. He didn't realize that he was gonna be put on the spot again. And he was feeling like, you know, these Christians are always pressuring me, man. And, and, and I feel like they're ambushing me all the time. They try to set me up like we're going to go do something. And then they put me on the spot, you know, and I don't like it. And if God has got, if, I, if God is anything like this, I don't want anything to do with it. You know, well, I can tell you 20 years later, and this person has not stepped one foot closer to God. You know, uh, we got to watch what we're doing because we present Jesus in a negative way. I mean, all the time. Okay. Uh, hey, thanks everybody for coming tonight. All right. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and eat. And then while we're waiting for our dessert to come, we'll discuss the golf venues for our uh, company tournament. Okay. So go ahead and enjoy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you think we should give thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ before we ravage all this food like savages? Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Abram, why don't you uh, go ahead and lead all us. All right, I, I'd like all of us to, could we please raise our hands? Just raise your hands like this, all right? Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, forgive us for all of the filthiness that's already happened tonight, Lord. And I pray that you bless this food that we're about to receive in Jesus' name. Lord, reveal yourself to these sinners and use me as a vessel. Amen. Okay, so um, Slappy's is a venue that has an 18-hole golf course on it. Uh, they also have a game room, a, a big game room for kids. That sounds good. I, I like that. That sounds good. And they have a full bar and restaurant. Well, 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 well. that's no. Uh, I do not hang out in bars, okay? I'm a Christian, okay? So that is a no, no. Of course. You know, we've heard that God gives us conviction not condemnation. But when we speak words like, did you know that you're going to hell? We're condemning that person. But when we're patient with them and forgiving and helpful, this produces conviction. Let's say you let someone close to you know that you're a believer. They know that you're a Christian, but you're not pushy about it. And when you're not around, they talk about you behind your back and they make fun of you. And you're not clueless to this, but that's all right. Well, one day they become in need and you step up to the plate. No questions, no expectations, no nothing. You just go and help them out. Well, you know, this could make them look at you in a different light and it could create an opportunity. You see, we've presented Jesus in a positive way. You know, if you look at Jesus, what he would normally do is meet a need, soften the heart, and then minister. Nice. Hey, he's pretty good, I think. He looks all right. He isn't no five pounder or anything, but he's solid. Solid. Oh yeah. He's 
solid man. Yeah, I like this guy. Yeah. Ooh, man, he's almost got it out. He's almost got it out. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's good. Come here. Mm. Yeah, he's not. I'm going to get your measurements, guy. Three pounder. And the money. Yeah. Nice one. Oh, thank you, Lord. Today we're talking about presenting Jesus in a positive way. We don't want to get the reputation for always having an agenda. You know, this is why people avoid us, why we don't get invited to things. You know, because we always have to go there. We always have to say something. You know, my wife, she has an agenda with me, with our dogs. Uh, we have a Yorkie Terrier, his name is Tucker, and we have a Great Dane, his name is Roscoe. Um, she likes Tucker because he's small and fragile and he snuggles her at night. She doesn't like Roscoe because he's big and he scares her. So she's always pushing Tucker on me. Now, I love both the dogs. Before Roscoe came around, Tucker and I were inseparable. He was, a, he was my man, you know. Um, but since Roscoe's come around, my wife has always got to let me know whenever Roscoe does any little thing wrong. She's always got to make sure that I'm aware of it. And when she talks about him, it's always in a negative way. And she's always praising Tucker. Well, what's ended up happening is because she's always pushing Tucker on me. Always trying to get me to not like Roscoe so much, but love Tucker. Um, I start building up resentment towards Tucker for absolutely no reason and I start shunning him. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Hey, thanks for... Great show. Great show. Yeah. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Yeah, great show, man. I'm like the heart. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. You know, and if you could hit the rumble or the like button, I'd appreciate it. Great and share this show. video with uh, on, on, on any platform that you can. And if you could please subscribe, uh, we can use all the subscribers we can get. Hey, we're going to have some new t-shirts, so you can either get the uh, original logo, Sweet. or we got the, the yeah. new logo here with uh, yeah, Roscoe yeah, Productions on it. So, uh, hey, tune in next week. Hey, hey, get out of here. It's for Patriots.